as you remember, in the last episode, Edna got a call from Wilma asking the ladies to come and see Cousin John in the morning regarding their contract negotiations. Today, we join Cousin John as he meets with the ladies to explain the fine print in the imaginary agreement. Cousin John, the Lefsa ladies are here to see you. The Lefsa who? Oh, you remember, the Lefsa ladies. You had me call them and demand, I mean request a meeting with you this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lefsa, well, how many are there? Just four. Four? Crap, I only need one. Uh, I hope they didn't bring that awful smelling Lefsa with them again. They can hear you, Cousin John. They're standing right here. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, how many times have I told you don't use the speaker phone? Oh, go ahead and send them in. Cousin John, we'll see you now. Well, hey, hello, ladies. Please, hello. please, come in, have a chair. Don't you all look just lovely today? Well, how do we smell them? Now, Edna, watch those manners. Oh, I'm with Edna. How dare you besmirch the integrity of our world-famous Lefsa? Besmirch? We heard you, Buster. Slanderous words if I've ever heard any. Listen, I was confused. You know, I get salespeople in here all the time. They're trying to sell me their potato pancakes or their Lefsa or their Ludafis. In fact, I just had a guy in here the other day from Lefsa Unlimited, and he was trying to sell me that stuff. That was the worst smelling awfulest tasting stuff that I ever let pass my lips. Are you saying it was somebody else's left set that smelled awful? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why, I remember now, yours was just heavenly. I, I'm, I'm hoping you brought me a double batch this time. <laughs> we sure did. I hope you have uh, an appetite for some of our latest you know, I did just have the pig out breakfast over at Edie's. Oh, now there's always room for Lefsa then. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, maybe, mm. maybe just a nibble. Mm. I don't see, I think it was just all just a little mm. big misunderstanding now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of misunderstandings, why did you girls tell Sergio, you know, my creative director, to produce a pilot of some show called The Real Housewives of Sweet Swine County? Oh, well, because we had a contract then? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, that's where it gets confusing. Because I had Wilma dig through all the files, and we couldn't find anything that showed that we had a contract with you girls. Now, hold on there a minute, Bob. It's okay, Helga. I think what Cousin John is trying to say, he's just a bit fuzzy about that verbal contract that we talked about when he was having that third helping of Lefsa. Verbal contract? Wait, you, are you trying to tell me that little snack time chat that we had uh, with you girls? Is that what, it, what started all of this? Don't you go trying to weasel out of this one. We shook on it over wine. Well, you know, you girls were drinking quite a bit that day. Well, I think what you're trying to say, Cousin John, is that we were just really relaxed and having a good time. Isn't that so, Cousin John? You know, listen, all I know is that your show cost me two of my biggest sponsors. The production costs were over $500, and I don't remember agreeing to any of it. Now, try to remember this. You'd had your three helpings of our Lefsa, and you said, you girls should be on TV. And then we said, sure. And then we went to the door, and then we shook hands, and that's, that, was our, that was our agreement. Yeah. Yes, and I even called KLUK and ask who's in charge of the production of the shows, and you said Sergio Ferleone. Well, we got right on that one, being the businesswomen that we are, mm -hmm. and we called him, and we got the ball rolling. No, 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 you don't understand. I shook hands goodbye. We don't have a deal. Oh, I told you we should have gotten it in writing then. Excuse me. You know, not now, Wilma, I, I, I'm really busy. I know, and I wouldn't ordinarily bother you, but I thought you might like to know that Ole's Fine Wines and Spirits called to ask about sponsoring the new Real Housewife show. Oh, he did, did he? He did, and no sooner did I get off the phone with him when Nels Erickson, you know, Erickson Auto called and said his wife loved the show and wanted him to be a sponsor. Well, that's interesting. 
Thank you, Wilma. Now, where were we? You were telling us that you're not a man of your word and that your handshake means absolutely nothing. Now hold on a minute. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give you one more show, but instead of building you a big set or anything, you need to use Betty Thompson's kitchen and you need to keep your budget to $150. So you're saying then that we got to use Betty's set and and we get paid nothing then? Hey, take it or leave it. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Well, it's a bit cramped, but I suppose it'll work for now. Cramped? Yeah. But look at these appliances. They look like they're out of the 1950s. Oh, now, Marta, it's okay. We only have a couple shows that we're going to shoot on this set. It's okay. I'm not worry. so sure about that. Um, Cousin John was pretty clear that we were on a shoestring budget. That man is so tight. He squeaks. Yeah. yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Ooh. What are those four doing here on my set? Oh, well, it's, it's our set now, Benny. Mm -hmm. our, our set. Oh, for my dead body, you will share my set. Well, that could be arranged. <gasps> oh, now, now, Marta, you know, Betty, Cousin John, he told us that we could use this set for our next show. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I thought you shot over at Edna's place. Not that it was much of a show. I understand it wasn't even authorized by Cousin John. <laughs> well, we just left Cousin John's office, and he authorized all of this 100% now, didn't he? So, Betty, what I really want to know is, say, are you married to these colors? Because I was thinking maybe some like uh, red or, or blues. Yeah, yeah. If you so much as touch one thing on my set. Now, 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 I think what you're trying to say there, Betty, that, you know, this set isn't so bad. But out. out. You know, I think I better call Cousin John and find out what's mm -hmm. going on. You just go ahead and do that. And by the way, ask him how he liked our left side. He ate your lefsa? Oh, mm -hmm. I better call the emergency room. He'll be there about now. Well, the lines are clearly drawn, folks. Join us next time and see which is the last cook standing on the Real Housewives of Sweet Swine County.